What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it's your first time here, welcome. So in today's video, I am going to do an apartment tour. I have been meaning to do this. Actually, I meant to do it in my last apartment, but I never got around to it. And then I've been meaning to do it in this new apartment. I moved in here like a couple weeks ago, a month ago, something like that. And I've been meaning to film a little tour because I'm like pretty much settled in here, but the weather has been so overcast and like gloomy and the lighting has just been trash. And I just knew that the footage would suck if I filmed this on like a gloomy day. So I've been waiting for a sunny day to film this and today is sunny, so here we go. And then after the apartment tour, we're just gonna like do a little sit down, chit chat, life update you know it has been a while since i've just sat down and chatted with you all so that's what we're going to do today before we get started i did want to let you know that everything that i can link in this video will be linked in the description box down below so like all of my furniture and decor and stuff like that i will link as much as i can in the description box down below and you can also find all of my personal links down there and i also just did want to say really quickly because i know that some of these questions will probably come in please don't ask me where I live like what apartment complex or what area I live in most of you know I live in Denver but it's just not very smart or safe for me to put out to the entire world exactly where I'm living I'm also not going to tell you how much I pay in rent let me just say it's expensive Denver is an expensive city to live in in general so it's not cheap um but you know that can help people like narrow things down to figure out like where you live and there's just some weirdos out there so i won't answer those questions if you ask um just know i live in denver and it's pricey and that's that um but anyway let's go ahead and hop into it so front door you walk in and i have a little rug here with just like my like little to go shoes if i'm like running out the door and i need to put a pair of shoes on these are here then i have this little like hook thing with these little these are fake succulents but these are from amazon again i will link literally everything where i just hang like my keys mask hat fanny pack if i'm going on a walk um my like purse that i use every day right there so you walk in here on our right we have the laundry so washer dryer not very exciting i keep my like swiffer and vacuums back there and then i have a little bit of storage up here so there's just like random crap um a christmas tree a grill more throw pillows that i don't use um so yeah not very exciting <laughs> and then walking forward here is a coat closet i keep a lot of coats in here and then i keep again just like kind of like random random storage in here so that is nice got some good storage and then in here is my lovely little kitchen i'll show you from this side because it'll be more like light um so huge island i love having a huge island islands are like something that i look for in apartments um these bar stools i've had for the past couple years in the past couple of apartments that i've lived in and i love them because they're this kind of like beige gray like i think they call it crage now the mixture of beige and gray color that kind of just like goes with everything um so really like these these are from i think wayfair or overstock again i will link these but yeah super large kitchen tons of storage we love that fridge little like pantry coffee maker wine rack toaster you know knives this is, this is my kitchen and then my only complaint really which i was talking about on my instagram story the other day is these solid gray countertops are like impossible to keep clean like you can see the marks on them um just so hard to keep clean i literally wipe them down every day someone was telling me they might not be sealed or they just might have just put in some cheap easy countertops in here um either way i'm gonna try and see if i can like figure out how to like seal them and make them easier to keep clean but you know it is what it is i don't own this place so it's whatever i wouldn't have chosen this myself i would have chosen something with a little bit more like speckled speckled granite um because it's just easier to keep clean and it just like you know it's all like it just looks cleaner um so anyway you walk in here and then this is my little selfie 
station. So this very large mirror is from Ikea, and this fluffy rug is from Amazon. I forget where that's from, but everything will be linked. And then here is my living room. I'll show you from this side so it's a little brighter. Um, so this rug has been with me in the last couple places. I think it's from Overstock. Um, love my leopard print rug, of course. And then I love my couch. It is so freaking comfortable. And each piece is like individual. So you can like kind of like set it up how you want to. Like you can move the ottoman over there. You can take pieces away. So love this couch. Um, I actually went through two couches before I got this one. I'm so picky. I was like, I hated them. They were just too small, not comfortable, not my style. I wanted something that was like this light gray color and just like super comfy. Cause what's the point of having a couch that's not comfortable? And I have a lot of visitors that are coming to stay with me this summer and I wanted it to be able to sleep two people and it can. Um, so this couch is from American Furniture Warehouse, but I actually found it on um, Facebook Marketplace because it was sold out on American Furniture Warehouse. So I lucked out. Couches right now are so hard to find. COVID has just messed up the whole manufacturing everything. So couches can be super hard to find. Like literally everything that I like was out of stock. So I really lucked out finding this. It was like almost brand new on Facebook Marketplace. But yes, love this couch. I will link it. It might come back into stock eventually. And then my little coffee table is from Amazon. The little tray is from Amazon. I wanted just something that was like solid white um, throw pillows these ones are from home goods and then I have these little um, framed it says I love you I know that's a Star Wars thing if you didn't know um, but yeah just very like minimalistic I like it and then I have a little basket with my blankets just a little baby it's like a little cocktail table but I just keep my water bottle on there and then a little plant and a lamp and over here is my TV stand, which is, I think, from Wayfair. Um, and my TV, <laughs> I should mount it. I still haven't mounted my freaking TV, you guys. Um, but I found out that I needed a metal stud finder for the wall, and I only have like a, a regular one. And it just seems very difficult to mount the TV. So, you know, I'm like, it's not so bad right there. I don't know. And then this plant is fake from Target. That plant is real. These plants are real and this plant is fake from home goods. So I have a mixture of like fake and real. I've tried to get like real like palm plants before and stuff and my plants just like freaking die. I A do not have a green thumb and B don't have great lighting in most apartments that I live in. So plants just die. Like this pothos over here is struggling because there's like barely any light in this apartment. Um, so for me, it's basically like succulents or fake plants is all that I can do, but you know, it's fine, everything's fine. And then I have a little deck out here, but I don't have anything on the deck, so not very exciting. Um, and then right here is my little desk. Um, so, you know, just some storage up there, my printer, not very exciting. This little letter board, doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. I need to remind myself of that every day. Um, and then, you know, my computer, my little office chair, this is also Amazon. Um, yeah, not super exciting, but like huge desk space, which I love because I'm like always working on my computer. And then go in here and here we have my little bedroom. So the dresser and armoire are from Ikea. Very just plain white, classic, love them. Um, forget where that's from. I made that. <laughs> and then I have another full length mirror right here. And this mirror I can move. So like when I film YouTube videos, I like move this mirror. Um, I honestly did not have any other place to put this like clothing rack. So it's just here for now until I figure out what to do with it. And this chair as well. I just, you know, I didn't want to get rid of them, but I don't really have a place for them and I'll figure it out. Do not mind my ring lights over there. I just keep them up because I film, well, I used to at least film so often that it just doesn't make sense to put them away. So they just chill here in the corner. And then my bed frame that you can barely see because there's so many throw pillows um, is from Wayfair. And the throw pillows are all Amazon and home goods. And this little wall art is 
Amazon. My little nightstand matches my dresser and my armoire, also from Ikea. We got my Cured Nutrition Zen and Raw CBD oil, which is what I take before bed. And then you walk in here to my bathroom, and then there's this little, I guess, like vanity area with some storage. Um, this mirror is from Target and some perfume and then I love this jewelry stand from Amazon and then up here I like didn't really know what to put on these shelves but like I see people do this all the time with their like you know like luxury boxes and bags they like put them on display which like to be honest I don't really care that much to be like look what I got guys but like <laughs> I see other people do it and it's easy decor since I already had it, so <laughs> there they are. And then this is my bathroom. So there's a large tub over here that I have not used yet, and I should. And then a um, little wall art there. This is my shower, love it, but so hard to keep clean. But I recently just got one of these like squeegee things and it's helping me. It's helping me keep it clean, so that's good because it's driving me up a wall. Just like the gray countertops and these white countertops, oh my gosh, so hard to keep clean. But you know, it is what it is. Um, and then we have double vanity. I love a double vanity because I love having tons of counter space because I just, I have a lot of crap. <laughs> um, I keep most of my skincare and like hair care products that I use like all the time right here. And then I have all of the makeup that I use the most often right here in a little organizer. There's a toilet, yep, we have one of those. And then more wall art, so exciting. And then in here is my very full closet. <laughs> so let's see, over here we got some shoes these are like my like nicer sneakers and then you know scarves belts hats and in here i don't color coordinate it's funny like my sports bras are color coordinated i only color coordinate certain things there's always a method to the madness for me so personally everything in here is organized by like type of item instead of by color and it just like makes sense to me so these are all like normal clothing tops um, normal clothing sweaters and then we get into more like casual sweaters and jackets and these are all like more like active wear tops going by like tank top to longer tank to t-shirt to long sleeve over here we have like my skirts matching sets and dresses which i'm not even going to try to explain that to you we have shoes all up in here and then i have another shoe rack down here and then i have more shoes down here and i have my jeans and my most worn joggers and sweats and then purses suitcases my friend's birthday present that i need to give her suitcases up here more random storage so yeah that is my closet that is stuffed to the gills and this is like a pretty decent size closet i don't think i could go any smaller um Thank goodness for this armoire. It is very helpful. So yeah. So now let's just have a little chit chat, a little life update, if you will. Um, by the way, I just got a lash fill this morning and my lashes are looking very full and very heavy. I usually am like a little bit overwhelmed at first when I get lash fills um, and then like after like a week or like a couple days and some start to like fall out and they start to like settle. I like them a little more. So I'm looking at myself and I'm like, holy cow, Shannon, like it looks like you're like, you can't even see your eyeballs. So anyway, moving on. Um, so obviously, um, if you keep up with my life on Instagram, I'm obviously, I'm more active on there than I am on YouTube. But um, so I was in a relationship and we broke up back in March um, and we were living together in this building in another unit um, and I've had so many questions from people like what happened da, 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 which like I'm not gonna just like dive into details like off the bat with any person that asks on Instagram like I'm not doing that. Um, and everyone was kind of like expecting there to be some like tea, which I feel like it's so silly. I don't think all relationships end with this big like 
blow out like I hate you or someone cheated or someone like wrong to the other person or there was something like oh my gosh so wrong like not all breakups are like that and not all relationships end that way um so our relationship ended basically simply because we were fighting a lot um I want to be respectful of his privacy and mine and not like give too many details or anything but I mean he has been through a lot in his life a lot and anyone that's been through a lot of trauma it affects them you know it everyone is affected in their own individual ways and a lot of times it can affect the way that you interact with people and your future relationships with people um so Personally, I think he's wonderful. I'm not gonna sit here and like shit on him or say that he's terrible because he's not. He's a great guy. And I truly, you know, still have a lot of love for him and I wish him the best. Um, I just think that he has a lot to work through. I don't think those things could be worked through while we were together because it was getting exhausting for both of us and i'm not gonna sit here and say i was perfect i know i'm not perfect like i know that there's stuff that i need to work on too like every single person has stuff that they can work on and i recommend literally everyone go to therapy at some point in their life and work on their stuff because everyone has some trauma from some point in their life that they can work on and work through so yeah that that's basically what it was and it again wasn't a like i hate you f you kind of thing it was just both of us knew that it needed to happen um and it didn't make it any easier you know like my it was one of those things where my heart was like stay like no like do anything like make it work make it make it work and then my head was like you know that that this needs to happen um so i think i'm like proud of both of us for you know like doing what ne we needed to do because we just moved in together like four and a half months prior um, which makes it difficult when you live together kind of splitting everything up and then you know breakups are just never easy regardless of how they are um you know i cried for about a week straight i was not well <laughs> i was not well i was also sick at the same time so i was sick and going through breakups so i basically just like took the entire week off of social media um and then i started feeling better and i pulled my chin up i guess and was like okay you know what like this is what it is so yeah um but yeah i've gotten a lot of messages from um girls that are going through breakups themselves and asking you know like how how do you deal with it like how you know how are you okay and first of all feel your feelings you know like i said i took a week where i cried and i was throwing a pity party for myself and I was thinking about all the good memories and all the things that we'd never do together again and la 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 you know feel your feelings you you mourn a ending of a relationship almost like someone is like dying I'm not gonna say they're the same but like it's you know you you mourn the ending of a relationship um and allow yourself to do that but in my opinion no person should be your everything like there no person should be your entire world your entire everything like you should be okay with being with yourself being alone it's okay like you don't need another person to complete you there are people who are single their entire lives and they're perfectly happy with it society there's all these societal norms societal pressure to be in a relationship to get married to have babies to buy a house to do like and who like why do we have to do these things that society just decided to tell us that we need to do you know what i mean obviously if you find the love of your life and you want to do those things by all means go for it if those are goals for you go for it but you, you don't have to do those things just because 
other people are doing them or society tells you you need to do them. Like you don't have to buy a home, you don't have to get married, you don't have to have babies. Do what makes you happy and you are on your own individual journey. There was a second there where I was like, I was about to turn 28. I just turned 28, April 10th. And I was like, oh my God, I'm turning 28 and I'm starting over again. Like I thought I was gonna marry this man and here I am starting over again at 28. And it's weird because like when I was younger, I was like, oh yeah, I'll probably be married by like 27 and have kids by 30. And now I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, and I don't feel the pressure to, like most of my friends, I'm not gonna lie, are either married or in serious relationships. I don't have a lot of single friends and definitely not a lot of single friends my age. Like it's very normal to be like married or in a serious relationship the older you get, but you don't have to. And there are still single people out there and there are still people that are just doing their thing, living their lives, putting themselves first, and that's okay to do that. Um, and I, everyone has told me, and my mom has told your 20s are your time, time to be your most selfish. I personally am taking this time to prioritize me. Do what makes Shannon happy. Um, so, sorry, the very random tangent that I just went on, this is probably gonna be all over the place because that's the way my brain works. But, um, but as far as like how to get over a breakup and be happy, personally what I did is I just try to stay as busy as possible. So I planned literally every single person that I was friends with or acquaintances with, I was like, I hit them up, I texted them and I was like, let's grab dinner, let's do a workout, let's go on a walk, let's, you know, get a drink, like, let's do anything. So I have just been hanging out with people nonstop, which is also amazing that, you know, the world is going back to normal now and we're able to get together with people again. So kind of like perfect timing. So I've just tried to keep myself as busy as possible with work, um, with getting back into a good workout routine, um, with hanging out with people, friends, family, meeting new people. I've met so many new people literally in the past, you know, month and a half, two months, or however long it's been since, since we broke up. I've met way more people than I had in the entire past, like, you know, year which is crazy um but i don't know i i feel like it's like do things that you enjoy whether that's exercise or picking up a new hobby read some new books go on walks teach yourself a new hobby whether it's freaking guitar or learning about i don't know cryptocurrency do do something just like keep your mind busy because what i feel at least for me is once life slows down and i just have a ton of time on my hands I have so much time to just sit around and think and feel sorry for myself and just like you go into this like hole and this like downward spiral and you can really just like kind of drive yourself crazy when you overthink and I this is coming from an overthinker I'm an overthinker you guys um, so yeah I just try to keep myself busy and do things that I enjoy um, I've booked trips i went to miami which was so much fun i'm going to scottsdale soon um so yeah i just am trying to stay as busy as possible and hang out with people that fill up my cup and make me happy um exercising work i'm finally getting back into a good like exercise and work routine because everything was thrown off when i got sick and we broke up and then i had to move it was just like bam 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 and now i'm finally getting back into a good routine um but yeah it's not the end of the world when you break up with someone. I think something that a lot of people do, and I'm kind of guilty of it too, is when you're in a relationship, you make that person your whole world. And you're always catering to them and you're always like trying to keep your schedule open for them. And you're only planning things with them. And even if you hang out with other people, it's like also with your significant other. So it's like, they're just, they're always there. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it's a little unhealthy. At least it kind of felt that way for me. Like at the end of our relationship, I was like, oh my God, like I don't have enough friends. Like I'm afraid I'm gonna be alone all the time. I don't have enough friends. And then I was, look at like, I'm literally hanging out with multiple people every single week. I'm like, Shannon, why, why did you tell yourself you don't have enough friends and you're gonna be alone? It's like, no, that's not true. And if you feel 
that way. There are ways to make new friends. There's apps like Bumble BFF. Um, Date Fit is uh, another app that you can find like fitness friends. Instagram, literally slide into people's DMs. I've met so many good friends from just me sliding into DMs or them sliding into my DMs on Instagram and being like, hey, I really like your vibe. I feel like we get along. Let's work out or let's grab coffee or whatever. And there's ways to meet new people. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's kind of my advice. I don't really know if that's helpful, um, but I personally, I feel like, you know, I it feels like the world is ending right when your relationship ends. And I, I feel that, I felt that, <laughs> but it, it, the world is not ending. Your, your world should not consist of just one person. And the, the world is so big too. There's like, how many, like six or seven billion people in the world? And you think that you, just one person is the only person out there for you? Like, I'm sorry, I don't believe in that. I don't believe you only have one soulmate. I think that there are multiple people on this earth that, you know, could make you incredibly happy. And you probably just haven't even met them yet. Or maybe you have, and you just don't know it. Um, so yeah, personally, I'm like, you know what? The world is huge. There's plenty of friends to be made. There's plenty of relationships to be had. Um, so you can't just get so down on yourself just all because of one person. You know what I mean? Um, there's so much life to live. There's so much to do, so many people to meet. I don't know. So that is what I've been doing. And I know that, you know, on social media, I've gotten a lot of messages from people, people that know me and people that, you know, just follow me or and don't necessarily know me, know me in person. Um, and I've gotten messages from people that are like, I, I could tell that something was wrong. I could tell your energy was off. And I feel like you seem like yourself again. And I'm not going to lie. I feel like myself again. I don't know what it was. It was probably like there was, it was just weighing on me all the, the you know, the the stuff, the not so great stuff in our relationship was weighing on me. And I feel like there's been a weight lifted off of my shoulders and I feel like I can be unapologetically me again. And I'm feeling positive and hopeful and I'm feeling like full of life and I'm doing all the things that I used to enjoy doing. And I'm, you know, I'm just, I feel like Shannon again. Um, so you're, you guys are right in saying that um, to me and I appreciate all of the kind messages I've gotten from you guys. Um, I really appreciate those. You know, obviously social media, you only see like a little glimpse into someone's life and I try to put out positivity on social media because that's just who I am. I like to my, like I'm, I'm a positive person. I'm a, at the end of the day, I'm always the person that looks at the bright side or finds a silver lining because that's just like who I am. That's what I'm about. But life is not all rainbows and butterflies. And of course, like literally the, the week that we broke up and I could not stop crying. I like told my mom, I was like, mom, I need, I need to tell like everyone, like I was already getting messages from people being like, what's going on? I haven't seen Andre in a while. Uh, so people picked up on it, you know, before I ever announced anything. And I was like, I'm gonna have to tell people, I'm gonna have to tell like 300,000 people on Instagram that we broke up. And I was like, I think I'm gonna make a YouTube video. And my mom was like, well, please don't do that right now. Like I was about to sit down the very first week we broke up when I literally could not stop crying, like could not stop. And I am so glad that I waited till now to make this video, but I have to let you know that I was there. I was there. Like I was not in a great headspace. I was not in a great mental space and that's, that's okay. And you know, if you're seeing me handle this breakup with such like grace or seems so easy, you see, like it, it, it's not all rainbows and butterflies is basically what I'm trying to say. Like there's more to anything than people show you on social media. There's more to anyone's life. There's more to any relationship, more to any story. No person's life is perfect. No person's relationship is perfect. Um, you know, so, so that's what I'm trying to say. It hasn't been all rainbows and butterflies. I try to put out the positivity because that's what I like to bring into the world. Not because I'm trying to make it seem like my life is perfect, but because I feel like 
that's the, I don't know, that's the energy I want to put out into the world. I'm not trying to put out energy that's like, feel bad for me, or put out energy that's just kind of going to make people feel sad. I like to make pe people feel happy and positive. So that's what I choose to put out there. But you know, I have my bad days too. And I still have my days where, you know, I get a little bit sad, or I, you know, start missing him and that's normal and that's okay and the thing is you can miss something or someone but not want it back that's that's okay like it's okay and it's normal that someone was a part of your life for a long time it's okay to still miss them sometimes but that doesn't mean that that person needs to come back into your life because sometimes you're better off without them or you just need to you need to not be together so Anyway, um, wow, I've been talking for 20 minutes. This video is probably gonna be so freaking long, so I'm sorry for that. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna start making YouTube videos more again. I kind of like dropped off for a while. Um, hopefully you understand why, <laughs> but I'm back and I'm gonna be making videos, so thanks for sticking around. Um, Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I will catch you next time, guys. Thanks again for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.